Now, we are told, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he's faithful at promise. Now, we are to draw near. Actually, faith here has the thought in it of hope. Let us draw near to God, but let us hold fast our confession of faith. Why? Because we've got a hope, and hope is for the future, you see. How wonderful this is. And we find now that we can come near to God and in the full assurance of faith. And also we can hold fast the confession of our faith. We have a hope. Why? Well, it's been put like this. So near, so very near to God. We cannot nearer be for in the person of his Son We are as near as he, so dear, so very dear to God. We cannot dearer be, for in the person of his Son, we are as dear as he. We are to draw near. We are to hold fast. Now, we have a third thing here. And let us consider one another to provoke. And we get our word paroxysm from that. And that literally means with a view to excitement. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good work. Do I annoy you? Some Christians write me and say, Oh, you have troubled my conscience. I hope I've troubled your conscience that you love one another and that you're troubled that you need to do some good works for God. And... He says now, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much as we see the day approaching. If there ever was a time when believers need to come together and gather together, it's today. Instead of chopping each other down, why, we need to be drawn together in love around the person of Christ and exhorting one another and studying the Word of God together. Actually, God has something for a group that he'll not give to anyone individually. One of the reasons I like to teach the Word of God, and I'll let you in on something right now, and you won't tell anybody, I hope, I trust you won't. We'll keep this a secret to ourselves today, and I'm just telling you, you're the only ones I'm telling about this. And the reason that I like to teach the Word of God because God won't let me grow in the knowledge of the Word unless I share it, you see. Not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together. So when they have Bible study down at your church, be sure and be there because there's a blessing there for you you can't get in studying the Bible by itself. Now we've got something here that's quite interesting. I have this in my notes. We're to draw near in faith. That is faith toward God. We're to draw near in hope. That's for ourselves, you see. We're to hold fast our profession. Draw near in love. That's for others. And so you have here faith, hope, and love again. How wonderful this is. And the day approaching actually, I think, meant here to these people, Hebrews, the destruction of the temple. The temple was to be destroyed And then where are they going to meet? Well, they've been going to the temple. Even Peter and John went up to the temple. They were there on the day of Pentecost, you know. And they went up there afterward. That the beautiful gate of the temple is where they met the impotent man. But where are you going to meet now? Well, what he's saying, as you see the day approaching, when you won't have a place, just keep meeting together. And the church started off meeting in homes, by the way. And why, as they see the day,